Direct News TV August 26, 2023 Much of Florida under state of emergency as possible tropical storm forms in Gulf of Mexico. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency Saturday for most of the state's Gulf Coast as forecasters say a weather system off the coast of Mexico could soon become a tropical storm and start moving toward the area. DeSantis' declaration covers the Gulf Coast from the southwestern city of Fort Myers north through Panama City in the Panhandle. Thirty-three of the state's 67 counties are covered in the declaration. The National Hurricane Center says there's a 70% chance the system will become a tropical storm by Monday and a 90% chance overall. Currently, it would be named Idalia if no other tropical storm formed before it. Forecast models do not show the storm center approaching the areas of southwest Florida where deadly Hurricane Ian struck last year. It not immediately clear if the storm would reach hurricane strength or exactly where it will go. Still, any storm of this nature can cause massive flooding, power outages, coastal storm surge and tornadoes. DeSantis said in a statement that he issued his executive order out of an abundance of caution to ensure that the Florida Division of Emergency Management can begin staging resources and Floridians have plenty of time to prepare their families for a storm next week. I encourage Floridians to have a plan in place and ensure that their hurricane supply kit is stocked, he said. Forecast models have the storm curving to the northeast toward Florida, coming ashore along the Gulf Coast north of Tampa near the Big Bend area and then heading diagonally across the state to emerge again in the Atlantic Ocean near southeast Georgia. So far this year, the U.S. East Coast has been spared from cyclones. But in the West Tropical Storm Hillary caused widespread flooding, mudslides and road closures earlier this month in Mexico, California, Nevada and points to the north. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently said the 2023 hurricane season would be far busier than initially forecast, partly because of extremely warm ocean temperatures. The season runs through November 30, with August and September typically the peak. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.